What six questions should you ask a real estate agent before hiring one? I will tell you right after this. Hello, I'm Sushma Kinvasara and I'm a real estate agent with Century 21 Green Reality here in the Greater Toronto area. When you're looking to buy or sell a home, you most likely are looking for a reality. If you don't have one already who can best represent you, there are so many ways to get in touch with an agent, either through a friend, referring one, or advertisements, or maybe even a relative. Still, it is always better to go through a selection process for your reality instead of just relying on connections. Especially when you are about to enter into a real estate transaction that would take emotional and financial investment on your part. The first step you need to take is to confirm an agent's formal credentials after that schedule an interview and prepare important questions to help you clearly understand what the real estate agent does. Here are six questions you should make sure to ask your potential realtor. Question number one. Do you have experience in the type of property I'm buying or selling? We all want realtors who have long experience in buying and selling homes in the market. However, it is not just a matter of how long they have been in the game or which city or neighborhood they focused on. You also need to consider the type of property they specialize in, such as condos or detached, fixer-upper or brand new, investment or luxury homes. In most cases, the type of property would demand specific skills from your realtor to help you get a good deal. Second question, how much do you charge for your services? Make sure you don't skip asking this question. Since there is not set commission rate for real estate agents in Canada, if you are the buyer, you shouldn't have to pay for the real estate commissions since it is the seller's responsibility to do so. Read the buyer's contract and discuss with your realtor to be certain if there will ever have a, have a, be a situation when you have to pay the commission. If you are the seller, you certainly want to discuss with the realtor how much you will have to pay for their services. In most cases, realtors don't charge a flat fee but instead take a percentage of the home's final sale price which would be enough to cover the commissions of both the listing and the buyer's agent. Remember, cheap isn't necessarily better. Ask what services are included. Be wary of getting dual agents and discount realtors since you can't vouch that they have your best interest at heart and have the right skills to help you in the price negotiation and throughout the entire process. Third question you should ask, how will you market my home? Another important thing to ask about is the realtor's marketing or purchasing strategy for your home. The skill is very crucial, especially in the fast-moving housing market in big cities. As a seller, you would need to know what will be your realtor's selling strategies. Do they use multiple listing systems? How about social media marketing? Do they maximize the use of advertising such as flyers and newspaper ads? As a buyer, how would your realtor search for your new home? How would they handle multiple offers? Do they have access to exclusive listings? These questions would help you determine if a realtor would be good in representing you and help you gain an advantage in the competitive market. Fourth question, do you give buyer or seller guarantee? Buying or selling a home doesn't always go according to the plan. Many things can go sideways through the process, like not selling a listed home in a reasonable time, market shift or even not liking your newly purchased home after a few months. Ask the realtor what they do to help in such a situation. Do they have written guarantees that if you don't like the house you bought with him or her, he help you in selling it without incurring more commissions or what plan the agent has if your listing is stuck in the market for a long time. Having guarantees gives you a peace of mind that the realtor has your back in less than idle situations. Fifth question, how and when do you communicate? Communication is a key for successful real estate transaction. It needs to be two-way. 
The client should be able to express clearly their goals and needs for the home, while the agent should be upfront on setting expectations on how often they'd be giving status reports and market feedback. In addition, a good agent would be flexible on the method of communication. You prefer on how to keep in touch with each other. Your realtor should give you a clear picture on how they would represent your interests in the market. You'd probably also want to know how many other clients they are also working for aside from you since it would be most likely have an impact on their priorities. And the last question, ask for references. An agent's reputation is everything. An agent with a wealth of experience and good reputation wouldn't hesitate to give you a list of names and numbers for you to call for references. Advertisements and websites will only highlight five-star reviews, but a personal phone call would give you additional contact on what the former clients have to say. When you call, remember that your goal is to determine if the agent is worth the commission they charge and if they have the experience and expertise in the types of property you are looking for. An agent who's hesitant to give you contact info for references might indicate past problem transactions. These are just some of the important questions you shouldn't forget to ask your potential agent. Buying or selling a home will always be a major investment in your life. So you definitely want to get a someone who will stand by your side and ensure you that you're happy with the transaction. I hope you found this information useful. Thank you for watching this video. I will see you in my next video.